Hi everyone, in today's video, we'll be looking at how to conditionally redirect a user based on an input field in BricksForge Pro Forms with the help of dynamic shortcodes. I stumbled across this solution by accident when a friend of mine contacted me for support, so I'm hoping that at the end of this video, either Giovanni or Daniel can write in the comments if this was a planned integration. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So here we have a form created using BricksForge Pro Forms and based on what the user selects, it will redirect the user to a separate page. So first, if the user chooses something like Classic Waffles, it will redirect the user to the Classic Waffles page. But if the user chooses the first one, which is the blank, I press Submit, it will redirect to another page, which is the Dividend homepage. Finally, if the user chooses another option, so let's say something like just any option like the delicious egg salad, and I press submit, it will redirect me to YouTube. So watch what happens. See, I get redirected to my YouTube page. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe right now. So yeah, that's it. So how can we create such a form? It's quite easy using BricksForge Pro Forms and dynamic shortcodes. And that's what we'll be looking at in today's video. But first, let's go ahead and see an example of what I created previously using BricksForge Pro Forms. And that's this form over here. I created a page in my previous video, which I'll link to in the description, where I went ahead to show you some useful things you can do using the dynamic shortcodes. And then I now combine that with BricksForge. So we can now edit this our post using the BricksForge Pro Forms. So let's go ahead and click on edit. You see, we get pulled in all the data just based on the URL parameter. Most of these things you can do natively using BricksForge, but in this case, I actually combined the BricksForge and dynamic shortcodes. So that's why we get our heading, which is pulling in the title. We get the featured image. We also get other things like the post title, the rating field, these are all ACF fields, the author, which is a relationship field from ACF, short description, we have a repeater field, we also have some group fields, then another set of fields again using the group field, then we have other repeaters and so on and so forth. So everything now is pulling in directly into BricksForge Pro Forms then when we submit the form, it will now update the post based on what we edit. And this page will only show up for an admin user. It will not show any of this information for a logged out user. So that's it. That's just showing you some of the power of BricksForge Pro Forms. I would highly recommend that you go ahead and check it out. I will leave a link to it in the description as well. So that's it. Now let's go ahead and see the plugins we'll be using. So I'll click on plugins. And for this tutorial, the only two plugins I'm actually using are BricksForge and Dynamic Shortcodes. The others are just nice to have. I used this for the other tutorial where I was using the ACF Pro and it includes some nice builder tweaks. So that's why I left it in. And the CSS framework and other things. But majorly what we're just focusing on is BricksForge and Dynamic Shortcodes. For the BricksForge, I'm currently using version 2.2.5 and for the dynamic shortcodes, I'm using version 1.4.1. So now let's go to the Bricks edit page and see how the form is in action. So this is the BricksForge. These are the initial form I created. So I'll go ahead and delete it. I'll save the page and refresh just to make sure that everything is working just fine. So now we have the page. Let me go ahead and add in a new pro form. To get pro form, you have to actually activate it in your BricksForge settings. So I'll come back to the settings, go under Bricks and BricksForge. Then we'll go to Elements and make sure that pro forms is active. Otherwise, you won't be able to get the pro form features. 
Then let me go back. Now, when I search for proof form, I get that here. So add it in. Let me just drag it into the section. Then I'll just give it a class name just to make sure that it is easy to see. Just to change the colors. So that's it. Now we'll go ahead and probably delete all of these fields because I'll just be focusing on maybe the text field or a select field. So in this case, let me use a text field. I'll delete all of these, the email, the text area, and just leave the text field. For this field, I'll give it a name. So under general, I'll give it an ID of probably maybe name and the label will be name. So I'll save this. Then I'll refresh. So we have it in here now. Now let's go ahead and see how we can do the dynamic redirect. So I'll come under proforms. I'll go to actions, remove email. I don't need the email. The main thing I need here is just the redirect. And that we have the redirect. Let me go under the redirect panel. And in here, you can see we have two things here. We have this FX field and these dynamic shortcodes. So we're going to combine the both of them. When you see this dynamic tag, that means we can use dynamic shortcodes as well. And this FX is, that means we can use the form fields in here. So let me just zoom in a little bit. So now, or let me zoom in one more time, just so it's big enough. I'll just click on the FX, that is the ProForms panel, and I'll choose the label that I need. That's the name. So now that I have this, I'll be using it within the dynamic shortcodes. And what I'll be using for today's video is the dynamic shortcodes for expressing conditions. I'll leave a link to the page in the description and in the comments. So we can basically use different statements like the if statement, the switch statement. We can do things like and, or, so different kind of conditions. And everything is written in here. So what we'll just be doing now is this. So if we we'll display the condition, then we'll say what should happen if it is true and what should happen when it is false. So let's start. So at the very beginning, I put the curly brace to start and do the if statement colon and close out to this. So I'll be using the equal sign. So I'll say if this name is equal to David, then redirect me to the Devden homepage. Otherwise, redirect me to the Devden YouTube channel. So that's basic and simple. So I'll say if, open the curly brace again, and say EQ for equal to, I'll put the column. So if this name is equal to David, then I'll close it. So I'm just saying, if name is equal to David, if the condition is true, then we want it to do something. Otherwise, it should do something else. Then I'll close up all the curly brace. So now what I wanted to do is redirect me to HTTPS column double slash devden.co.uk. Otherwise, it should redirect me to HTTPS youtube.com slash at devden2. So let's see if it works. I'll save this. Then I can go ahead and preview it on the front end. So front end. So now we have our impute field. Let me go ahead and put David. So D-A-V-I-D and I press submit. Let's see, it redirects me to the Devden homepage. Let me go back. And then this time I'll say something like Emma, E-M-M-A, -M -M -A, submit, and it redirects me to YouTube. So that's how you can do it using the condition of if for a text impute field. You can also do something more complex like using the switch and then maybe using like a select field. So you can say maybe multiple conditions if it is David, go to one place. If it is 
Emma, go to somewhere else. If it is John, go to somewhere else. Something like that. So maybe like in your subject, especially like in your emails, you have subject. So say maybe if the user is asking for just for assistance, go to a contact form page. If he's asking for something else, then you should redirect him to an external page or something like that. So that's is how easy you can do it. And it's all just using the dynamic shortcodes and the pro forms. So I don't know if this was a planned collaboration, but I just figured out that they both work together. So if you come under the actions, so I put the redirect and then under the redirect, I just put the condition. I'm combining both the dynamic shortcodes and the BricksForge conditions or for their form fields and everything just works perfectly. So in a future video, I'll show you more things you can do using the dynamic shortcodes and pro forms with other plugins like Jet Engine as well. So hopefully this video has helped you out. If it has, please do leave a like, share the video, write in the comment that it helped you out so that I know it actually helped you out. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. I'll check the comments out. And until next time, bye.